Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. First of all, before we start on this video, this is kind of a 10k sub milestone video but kind of not at the same time. From that being said though, thank you guys so much for 10,000 subs. Uh, we just crossed this line about a week ago. Um, the reason this video is delayed is because it's being recorded. Um, it's actually being recorded the day I saw that sub go up, that that milestone passed. However, because of our uploads always being uploaded a week later, a week as of right now, normally it's two weeks, but as of right now it's a week, uh, because of this factor, um, <clears throat> this thank you is, you know, kind of technically a week delayed, but, you know, oh well. With that being said, um, I kind of do want to talk about a, a, a kind of a Kickstarter idea, but at the same time, I was going wanting to talk about this anyway. Um, there are, I, I was, I like learning lyrics to music that I end up finding an appeal to, and there was a song earlier that I I wanted to learn the lyrics to, but as I was going through it, learning the words, I started to feel some kind of connection in a way or some like a feeling of relatability to a fault or at least the idea of the aura being like huh this feels like today kind of thing and it actually spoke to me in heart which is why I want to talk about this today um, <clears throat> originally I was only going to talk about that alone but I feel like since this is our 10k milestone. I might as well make it a bit unique. The topic itself is going to be discussed. However, the song relatability thing, I didn't really originally plan on. But you know what? I plan on doing this as a series in the near future. So call this kind of a Kickstarter. Not an official first episode or anything, but I wanted to make this special, and since I've discussed over and over and over again, like, my own personal thoughts and my gratitudes, my past, all that kind of stuff on this front, I figured I'd mix it up and make this at least a little bit unique, a little bit more gifted to the channel and its content, plus relatable to IRL in a way. And that is why I'm going to be talking about a song called um, Shadow World. Um, this song, however, is, it's the main theme from a couple different things. Either a video game or an anime. Either or, it is called Persona 4 Golden. The artist of the song's name is Shoji Meguro, a Japanese artist. However, what impresses me is the fact that they were able to do both an English version and Japanese version, and it's the same artist. I looked this up, it's the same artist. So that, I can't deny that's very impressive, because English is the hardest language to learn of any language. But with that said, before I get too far off the topic, let's actually talk about the lyrics of the song, and it'll become more apparent the further in I go, why I wanted to talk about this for this 10K milestone video. So let's get started. I have the lyrics here. That way I can just kind of pace my time as I'm talking about this. All right. So the song starts with the statement, truth is elusive. It's nowhere to be found. Well, reality is, in a way, this is true, but not. The kind of truth that it's talking about is truth in one's self where you have to find the truth of yourself for yourself. It's more of a mental challenge, in a way. So in a way, yes, this statement is true. And it's one of those few statements in the world that you'll look at it and go, huh. Now, if you're thinking about it like the way I am, you'll look at it and go, huh, yeah, I guess. And then it, it, it's something that can be relatable to, related or relatable to anyone. Now the next line, it goes, the truth can never be written. I mean, yes, 
current truth, like that kind of mindset thing, because this is kind of what this song starts to base off of. Just the mindset of truths in oneself. Which is kind of where the core of this starts to relate. Finding truth in oneself and accepting it is way harder than a lot of people would like to admit. Some don't realize it. Some people love themselves off the fly. Does this mean they're self-centered? No. No, it just means they're accepting themselves. They like who they are. But not everyone is that way. And in a way, that's where the song kind of starts to relate to reality. And to a fault with me, in heart. The next line on the uh, statement in this, and I'm skipping, like, relatability to, like, the song as far as, like, the anime slash video game goes. The lyrics that compared to that specifically, I'm skipping over. The next notable one... Truth is evasive, though you might have the facts. The, I, I can see the logic behind this. Truth can be evasive, because you may have some of the facts of, a de of certain circumstances, But not every fact is found in physical evidence. I've had this happen to me several times, and when I started reading this lyric and realizing this lyric, that's where I truly started to relate more than anything else and started to compare. So let's go down that line. In my life, I've had circumstances several times where I would be speaking what I know is true, but because a lot of the proof in it was more circumstantial or know-how and not just upfront physical in front of your face evidence it didn't work out so well it's kind of where the phrase um i'm fine because i know the truth kind of thing comes from it's that idea but truth can be so evasive at times like what the line says that it almost feels irrelevant whether the truth actually gets out or not. And that's kind of something I can relate to in a big way, too. Because this kind of idea has happened to me multiple times in the past in scattered ways, too. Now, the next line after that is more of a comparison let you know kind of thing. Got it straight, you think, but then it all cracks wide open. You can search the world far and wide. The only truth that you can ever find is in another. Now that was a longer lyrical, and it was actually a full, um, I forget the term, but it was a full set of lines. But all of it fit in the way that the reason I could feel hard to this particular statement is because of the fact that for me, a lot of the time to find truth, I've always had to either turn to my family and my closest peers, like Aaron. And, well, in heart, it starts to become more apparent that the truths that are kind of hiding sometimes can be the ones that you just don't accept or you are blindsided to. Admittedly, I feel like there are some that I am exactly that, blindsided. Meaning, even, they, even to this day, I'm sure there are some truths that I'm 100% unaware of. Makes it a mystery, a mystery, a mystery, really? It makes it a mystery, but makes it unique. Now next up off after that, this is kind of where we start to hit um, the chorus of the song, because the rest of it kind of ties in together. The next notable thing I would say is that now, I'm trying to skip over lines for the sole purpose that if you want to hear the actual song, go listen to it. It's under a kind of a mixed style of rock and J-pop in a way, um, but 
It is a good song, in my opinion. Anyway. the next notable lines and this one is repeated throughout the song one can't be without the true other is one major line in it that I feel like is a really bonding connecting point It's hard to do something on your own. Very, very, very difficult to do so. Without another person to turn to, sometimes that burden can become more strenuous than some people can handle. This is something I can definitely relate to. This is kind of where this video kind of goes from just simply talking about the lyricals and like all that kind of stuff to talking about the tie-in to why I chose to do this in the first place for this particular milestone. There's always a second motivator. First motivator for channels are usually one and the same to a fault. For me, one thing that's pushed me to constantly do the channel, even with some hiatuses um, scattered throughout the weeks, days, it kind of depends on what's going on throughout the week, because I do still have a personal life, which is why sometimes there's not a second video. Outside of the things that happen sometimes that are out of my control. But even with that said, There's always the first motiva motivator, which is you guys who are, some of you have been there for a very long time for the channel, and some are brand new. Some are kind of in that dead center point that's kind of in between the both. In which case, either way, one way or the other, all of you, thank you. Many of you may not even know how much that means, but many of you may. It means more than you could possibly imagine, at least to me. But anyway, the line itself, once again, the one can't be without the true other, hints at the second motivator for me, the true other. Who it is? I don't know. Every individual has a true other, whether in one kind of sense or another, every single one does. When I read that line, that's when I started to compare to my own personal life. Started to question some things. This song, unintentionally, hit me here real hard in a way where I did something that I don't normally do I teared up I'm not much of a crier that's something I haven't I don't think I've talked about on here but being someone who's not much of a crier it felt relieving to be able to exert that emotion obviously I'm not showcasing it now but it's not happening now. It happened in the past. I guess the whole course aspect, first course, is kind of worthy of talking about. One that defines your world gives you truth in life. One that excels special enough to... So it's kind of a short course, by the way, but that's just because type of song. It basically, the, the chorus lines as I started and stopped halfway through, sorry. One 
One that defines your world gives you truth and light. One that excels special enough to guide your way through the shadowed world. Technically, the line in the song is the shadow world, but I alter it slightly to say shadowed for one reason. Thinking of it that way, and thinking of the lyrics, made me look at the song more as advice to its audience. Once again, going through the lyrics and I can explain why. And this is, again, me coming from for my heart for the sake of this. One that defines your world gives you truth in life. At this point, it's talking about finding that one. From the lines beforehand, once again, the one can't be without the true other. The true other being one that defines your world and gives you truth and life. One that excels in specializing in helping you, gu helping guide you in a mental way to get through the shadowed world, or in our case, just reality and its trials. And the reason I changed up to the shadowed world is because in reality, the trials kind of make things, the tribulations all of us go through, make things a very big blur. And thinking about the lyrics there, well, this is where I started to really think showed mental heart and gratitude towards things that I do have and tells me that there's something to come something really good now granted I'm not just talking about the YouTube thing the path we're heading down is amazing and I'm looking forward to seeing what it beholds However, it's also a circumstance of where it's not just YouTube. It's reality as a whole as well. Something that I'm going to have to catch up on today. Especially with the length of this video, I may not even have time to take care of the next. So I'm kind of on a time limit today, but that's aside from the I guess the idea is just that finding someone to just be there to help you get through hell and high water, as the phrase goes, is very comforting. Not everyone needs it. Some people prefer to do things and be go through things on their own. Proper English there. Uh, however, the lyrics there kind of more refer to those who are on the alternative and think that they that if they, they have that mindset of someone who feels like they need someone else. Like myself. Who it is? To be honest, I don't know. And maybe it's someone who's been in front of my face and I'm just blind to it. Wouldn't surprise me at all. But there's also you guys when it comes to motivation and prog life progression. The 10,000 plus of you all give more motivation to me on that front than you may think. Thinking through this, the lyrics to this song made me start to think that exact thing in addition to everything else. The next notable lyric comes in its second verse. I've tried to imagine what it'd be like without knowing you are always right by my side. This statement on its own, it's more of an address of, look, it, it, the, when, when I read that, I was like, well, obviously this song is kind of a love story kind of thing and it's addressed to a specific person but 
you look at it from a specific angle of this is something that could happen for you, it's a trigger of hope. Which is an interesting way to think about it because in the next set of lyrics, the words start with the line, lies come in many forms and some look to truth. Some look like truth. Unfortunately, this is true. However, when it is true, it usually means the person is just afraid of something. Most likely that's response. And realistically, it's not particularly a bad thing. Any introvert would know this, including myself. I coop myself up in this apartment a lot, not because I don't want to go out, it's just because I don't want to get hurt and I've gotten to the point in my life where I'm kind of afraid of that I've experienced it enough to the point where I not ready to approach that again luckily for me even though I coop myself up in here a lot I still have a lot of comfort from a lot of individuals which is something I'm really grateful for this aspect is what reading the lyrics I've already presented, or reciting them, I should say, that's kind of what mindset that triggered. Now, after that, we find our truth. The line technically is found. I'm changing it up so it matches the circumstance. Find our truth in someone else, and we got faith in each other. Faith in another individual is a very powerful thing, regardless of circumstance. And for some, it's very hard to withhold. That's what I started thinking when I started reciting that line. How many people are able to withstand the idea of having faith in another person? Especially nowadays. So many people get butt hurt and get attacked in a way where it becomes impossible for that faith to be there for a lot of people. Is this apparent to everyone? Of course not. But it's still a large handful. Pretty much after that statement, it goes into the course, which I will go ahead and... I mean, it goes... It, it, that post course statement from earlier just repeats that and then it goes on a particular lyrical let there be someone that there that shares truth and love who really cares and knows we can only share our truth through one that defines your or our world gives you truth and gives you truth and life one that excels, special enough to guide your way through this shadowed, again, the original word is shadow, but for the sake of this video, shadowed world. That, on its own, is more like a prayer to me than anything else and a wish. One that I have. that is slowly being fulfilled, but like I said, slowly. Now, how does this tie into the fact that we got 10K? Because after that, it goes down the course and we've already covered that. Well, as the song may be talking about a significant other, Take it the right way, and it can apply to anyone. Friends, acquaintances, significant others, partners of any kind. It'll work. And I don't have a, I have a very small handful of individuals, IRL, who fit this bill. 
motivation from all 10,000 plus of you who are subbed to this channel who have been, whether with for a short time or for a long period of time, every last one of you give a motivation and that kind of faith described in the song, heart for me. It's something that I'm very grateful for. I've been rambling for 25 minutes and I did want to discuss why this song had special meaning and to me it's just heartfelt whether in regards to what it means where it's like a wish to have that person there have the person that it describes for me there or to have it as a reminder of what I do already have as far as like all of you goes ends up in the same resolve. The same resolve. That I don't think I could have it any any other way. Any better. At least for what I am able to have right now. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this here. Because unlike the video this video, there may not be a secondary video today, I'm not sure yet. Um I've been up taking care of some stuff for a while, and I've got something going on later on today. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Next couple of days may be a bit dry on, uh, it may, may be only vlogs. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. We'll figure that out when we get there. For right now, thanks for tuning in to this video, guys. And once again, all of you, thank you for 10,000 subs. It really means a lot to me and those on the team. So thank you so much, and we're looking forward to seeing what happens in the future. But for right now, I'm going to head off. I actually do need to relax for a bit. I'm feeling a bit drained right now. It more has to do with just what I was doing prior to this video, so nothing to be concerned about. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys so much again for 10K and for watching this video. And we hope to see you guys in another one. See you guys later.